Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show, episode 384. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Gloria. What's up, Gloria? Hi. What's up, Connor? Hello. Okay. What's up, David? What's, What's up, up? Guys? What's up, Daniel? Hello. What's up, Danette? What's up? All right, so we weren't going to do the after show. We got to get out the kinks, though. But previously on the Everything Show, 383. What happened, Lori? Oh, we had fun. <laughs> we were talking about all kinds of things. Uh, news about, like, the, the Flash and all, uh, all the X-Men, uh, you know, Apocalypse and all that. And then um, Connor, revealed, Connor revealed some news that surprised us. Daniel Mute. Hold on, Daniel, mute because we're getting feedback here. Uh, okay, I'll try. Hold on. Um, okay, good. Okay. That news was quite shocking to uh, some of us. <laughs> All the Jon Snow news. Yeah. Almost put me in the hospital, actually, because I went a little crazy. <laughs> I thought. What was the news? Yeah, uh, boy. Then yeah. I. Harrington was in Belfast where they're filming Game of Thrones. <laughs> Meaning he could be alive. Uh, <laughs> Joe Fred went freaking crazy. I did too. But he was oh like. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, just to think Connor, of it. As, what have you done? He reacted the way I would react if Alex Kingston was spotted. it. Anywhere near the production. <laughs> I, I think I doubled your reaction by 17,000. Yeah, yeah, but your reaction to that was equal to how I would react if, if you know, Alex Kingston was anywhere near the doctor who said. Right. It would be like the same And way. again, like, right. one heart just stopped working, so I got to make sure the other heart is okay. So I got to, like, be calm, you know, because I want to live to do another podcast, so. Yeah. So it was, I'm going to be calm tonight now. Yeah. We even rewatched the the video and it was the, the podcast and it was hilarious to rewatch it. Jon Snow is alive and that's all I care about right now. I'm very happy. I, I, I believe he is. That's too. it. I, I believe they got something out of their sleeves. Oh, <laughs> David. That's right. Told you before. This is for Joseph and Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, listen, man. I, I heard, listen. I heard Joe's voice when he did your show, the multiplayers. He's like, you know, I don't have a PS4. I don't get a PS4. And then I'm like, I'm over there. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm like, all right, all right, I got to get it. I got to get it. You know, can I work 15 hours today, boss? And it's like, whoa. So, yeah. yeah you probably, you're going to be, you and him are going to be fighting over that. Nah, see, you know what it is? It's, it's, I, I, I heard him, man. I, when I heard his voice on your show, I'm like, oh, kill me as a dad. You know, it's like I'm not doing my duty, you know? So this is not, this is just a gift for Joseph and Anthony because they are amazing honor students in school and they deserve it. It's not a birthday gift, nothing. I'm going to get them games, but that's you got it. Good kids, Joe. What's that? You got, you got good kids. That good they, I do. I do. So. You know, and then I come home to this. How was <laughs> is this? That's another thing he reacted to. He showed oh my a god! Picture of his his reaction. Miss Ives, thank you, um, uh, uh, Verizon FiOS and Showtime. That was a nice gift, actually. Really impressed by that. So, oh, all right. So we yeah. had a rundown of the uh, nominations. The Emmys. And I know. Well, wait, before I don't want to talk about that. I actually want to say this. Um, okay. I'm going to leave this open the comments. Mm -hmm. If you, all right, I, I know it's been a while since I uh, worked in GameStop, and I, I believe I have a handle on the good games, but if anybody has any suggestions for any PS4 games that I should buy for Joseph and Anthony, put it in the comments below. Uh, and I am going to be buying Destiny tomorrow. Uh, they have yeah, it on no, PS4. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Wait for that one. Wait. What? You need wait. to wait because in later this uh, fall, they're going to be launching the next expansion, which is going to be an entirely new disc. It's called The Taking King. 
You right. don't get him Destiny when everyone moves off to the Taken King. Unless you want to get him the Legendary Edition, which comes with Destiny, uh, the both expansions, the Dark Below and the House of Wolves, and the Taken King. But that's probably about 80 bucks, so I don't see you shelling out 80 bucks for, like, for that. Um, I'll correct you now, because I went in on a whim in GameStop and bought two Vitas and, like, ten games... And drop like you wouldn't believe. So uh, I would get a collector's edition. All right, probably. all right then. <laughs> yeah, because so, I'm just, I don't know if it's I'm a good dad or I'm just crazy. Maybe it's because I'm crazy. But, yeah, I would buy that, yeah. All right, I before you guys talk about the Emmys, though, I kind of just want to talk We're about not, what I... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, David. These uh, pictures I just found right here, I'm going to maximize this. That these are from the set of Deadpool. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I like. I'm liking the suit. Nice, practical, but yet comic book faithful. Uh, he's got some nice set pieces of him looking like he's about to drop on the guy and snap his <laughs> neck. That's great. Yeah, oh. and that. Right there is the cover of Entertainment Weekly for X-Men Apocalypse. We got Magneto, Psylocke, and, uh, of course, Apocalypse in the background. Why is Apocalypse an old guy? <laughs> we just talking about that on the well, show. They well, just talk about that. Yeah. Storm looks awesome. He looks like a guy yes. that escaped the home and just decided to dye himself blue. And no, wear, like, his, people, wear the, something he stole out of the museum. No, the joke apparently going around the internet right now is that he's Ivan Ooze from the original Power Rangers movie. <laughs> yeah, I heard that, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you're in the wrong franchise, but thanks again. Zord we, there is no Zordon here. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to critique Apocalypse because I know him all that too well because of the comics. Um, if that's supposed to, okay. Okay, let's critique this now, okay? One, uh, even though Apocalypse is thousands of years old, he's not supposed to look thousands of years old, okay? That's one. He's wearing the pens, because I see it underneath his cape, all right? Um, this looks like something of a reject between Sectors and Master of the Universe and Tron look. Uh, he's wearing electronic dreadlocks. I'm not really liking that. <laughs> and he's just way too skinny. Um, you know, he's looking for an order, orderly. Because I, I honestly, this is this is pathetic on Apocalypse part. He doesn't look that good at all. He looks fugly. Okay. It's probably it, it's probably not his final form. <laughs> well, you, Psylocke looks amazing. Yeah. And Storm looks um, well. All right, I guess. I don't know if Storm had a cape, but I mean, oh, she, had, she had a cape. She cape, but this is like, uh, I guess we're becoming purple people eaters all of a sudden because we got <laughs> well, the like. They all match. <laughs> but the yeah. thing is, it's been confirmed that Storm and Psylocke are two of the four horsemen. In we know show. that. But why are they wearing purple? Like, Storm doesn't wear purple. Like, and she's got Wonder Woman's shorts on or old pants on or something. I mean, like, come on. I don't understand what she's wearing there. That's just ridiculous. Psylocke is the best right there. She's does, does Halle Berry not play Storm anymore? Well, this no, is, this the, is this the younger. Young, younger. Oh, right. Yeah. Because, because when uh, Logan changed history in Days of Future Past, Pretty much the entirety of what's happened in the X-Men movies is gone, and a new history has replaced it. So this is essentially what they are. Right. This is supposed to be the birth of the X-Men, technically. So, um, I'm not feeling the purple. I'm sorry. What else do you have, David? Nothing much, really. Nope, nothing. Oh, this is funny. I found this online, Connor. I don't know. But do you remember this episode of Doctor Who when he was on the horse? Well, he said he could speak horse. Doc, uh, deep breath. No, it was the oh, that was a town called Mercy. Oh, yes, yeah, because he said it in deep breath. Yeah, as well. he literally word for word quoted Mary Poppins. Yeah, yeah no, I noticed that. I've seen that. I was like, oh, that's so cool. And the quote, the 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 comments here are. 
Uh, it says, you are not alone. And another person says, are you telling me Mary Poppins is a time lady because he headcanon accepted? She owns a sonic umbrella, not to mention her carpet bag is bigger on the inside. What if she's the doctor's last regeneration? And the last person says, I am fully prepared to go along with this. Well, if you dye Mary Poppins' outfit like purple. She looks then, like Missy. Then, well, she I, actually, that's, we that's don't, that's Con Con Connor, we know what Moffat was watching when he was deciding what to do with the next series. Well, with series eight. Yeah, that's yeah, what he was watching. I think yeah, if you does put... Does anyone remember how Missy entered in Death in Heaven? She came in floating on an umbrella. Yeah. 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 That, 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 was, that was referencing Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. That's what that that was, was. Yeah. That was the purpose. That was right. like... It was obvious. It wasn't just like, it could be, it could be. No, that was an obvious reference. Yeah, yeah. and the only thing it was missing was the music. Yeah. That was like Mary Poppins <laughs> on crack. Jiminy, Jiminy, Jiminy. Yeah, Jiminy. <laughs> yeah, Joe, yeah, exactly. Or, or Mary Poppins' evil sister. Yeah, yeah. if Mary Poppins had Missy an evil Poppins. sister, then it would be missing. She'll pop you, all right. Yeah. Say something nice, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Or however that song goes, Puppin, <laughs> So, yeah, there's a lot of things. You could see that's the thing. Like, if you watch as many movies and stuff as I do, you could point out exactly what the hell Bob was watching on his TV. It's yeah. scary. It's scary. So, I even think the whole, like, um, jumping into the drawings and stuff it kind of makes me think about how i mean amy and the doctor they weren't really they didn't go inside the painting but they actually met an artist who you know paint beautiful pictures and then in the the museum when they're looking at they see the little creature in the picture so it's almost as if they are looking at it first and then they go into it into the story or where when it was happening when he was painting um, so it's like, in a way, they were in the painting, in a way. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's like kind of cool. And he reused that idea for uh, 50th. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> like he always does. I'm going to steal it for myself. No, no. Yeah, the 50th, there's the well, 50th. I know, I know. I'm just digging. I'm sorry. Yeah, because in the 50th, I mean, the, the whole purpose of having the paintings there was yeah, to the kind of... Like, I know. There was, there was zygons there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I still, You know what? It's so funny. It's like I got Jon Snow on one side of my brain, and the other side of my brain, I got Rick screaming at, like, uh, <laughs> Great stuff this week. Great stuff. Yeah, definitely. I, I love this time of year during the um, Comic Con because we get so much stuff. <laughs> we need a Game of Thrones show. Yes, we're going to have one. Yeah, we need to, yeah. And now we're going to talk about something completely different. Time for some, yeah. Uh, want to talk about real life topics? Yeah. I guess. We'll, yeah. we'll mix it in. All right, what's happening in Greece? Because Gloria, I was on oh, the bus. That's crazy. What happened? I don't know the details. My father's friend was. Telling us, or telling, well, actually telling him, and then he told. Me. I was on the bus, and, and like I didn't have really. I, I don't know what's going on, but something that you know, I'm I'm phrasing my dad, but my dad might be phrasing it wrong. But he said that his friend Raymond said that they are taking people's monies, uh, money out of Greece, and arresting them, putting them in jail. Where the the <laughs> thing is, is that Britain have a huge part in uh, Europe's economy. Okay. Yeah. Um, We've we've blatantly refused to bail them out. I see. So they they're having to work their own way through their financial difficulties now. That's okay. Why. We're no longer going to bail them out. That's why. So what happened, Connor? The the economy just collapsed in Greece. Yeah, or? it it was like it it was gradual, but it's um they've hit rock bottom. I what mean, happened not, to cause that though? Um, the recession. I mean, you, you you know, I think in America, I know that there've been there's kind of been a recession, but um, like Europe has been hit worse. Well, see, that they lie about the economy. They make it like, oh, it's all right, it's doing great. Yeah, it's not. They luckily, just, luckily, books great. will show how bad it was because they can never tell you when you're in crap. Hey, you're in crap because then you smell yourself. 
So well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> look, her, look. I'm sorry to that. I have these weird jokes sometimes. You know, it got me kind of worried because I was like thinking, like, if it's bad over there, I hope it doesn't. Oh, uh, it's been well, everywhere. China, the they, the stock market crashed, it, right down trillions or whatever. I don't know. Um, I'll actually uh, find out about the Greek thing because um, th- there are, there's been a lot of news in the last three or four days actually about it. Yeah, I was um, in the bus. I don't even know what the hell was happening. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's well, it has officially been named the worst economy in Europe. Oh my god! Oh wow! So it's. It's it, the the country has fallen into a hole. So wait, yeah. are the people rebelling against the government, or like what's happening? No, um, I th- it's hard to. I'll, I'll have to look on BBC News because BBC News have everything about this. Yeah. See, uh, I apologize for not being informed. I was coming home on it in a tunnel. I couldn't really yeah. get signal also, and good to me about it. So. so I found out today also that there was another terrorist attack in uh, Tennessee that a guy went in and killed I think I think he said four people oh my god four marines yeah in Chattanooga Tennessee what the hell is happening crazy well I mean it's just come off the um, the worst massacre of Brits ever in Tunisia 30 Brits were brutally killed on a beach in Tunisia and we've just literally come off that and I mean like the the country is still in shock because um and I think it's only unfortunately it's only gonna it's only gonna take a few more attacks to um to really start pushing our buttons and I mean like what I I don't want to like scare people, but I'm just feeling myself that Britain is on the cusp of war. Are you again. serious? Yeah, because oh we're, we're, not, we're, we're not taking this nonsense anymore with ISIS. Like, we're, we're getting serious about this now. This is not good. Like, for example, um, things such as iMessage. WhatsApp and everything like that could be banned within the next few weeks because the government are not allowed to see from those specific apps what people are writing in conversations and they're scared that terrorist groups are planning things over their uh, over those uh, social networking things whatever and um, if the people the companies that make iMessage and WhatsApp and everything like that, if they don't allow the British government to keep a 12-month record of everything we type, everything we say on a call, everything we text message each other, literally we're under, we're being watched by the government. If they don't allow that to happen, all of those will be banned because they're, they're absolutely terrified that another terrorist attack will happen and it's going to send us maybe into war. I mean, it's, uh, we, Britain is on the, I wouldn't say the breaking point, but it just feels to me like what's been said over the last few weeks by our government, our prime minister, that we're not no longer taking this shit. We will take action if it continues. And, um, I mean, you always hear about things in Iraq and in, uh, you know, Syria and stuff where there's been bombings and everything from Brits blowing up, right. like ISIS and stuff and, you know, militants and stuff. But it's, uh, I think, that I, while I, I don't agree that maybe the bombings are helping because it's making people in other countries, because that ISIS is everywhere. Well, I don't understand why the UN can't do anything. Doesn't the UN have any purpose anymore other than to be... Or are they I, just freaking, I mean, that's the whole purpose of the UN. I don't even know. Send NATO mean. in there or send in, make sanctions or something and stop this. Like, what the hell is their purpose to the UN? They is can't it, stop it. They, why? It's, because it's it's gone beyond their control now. So then, I mean... 
But th- what's the purpose of having all these nations together? I, I don't know, but the th- I mean, they but they, say- they should get together. The I mean, United States should help Great Britain, and we should put a stop to ISIS. I don't understand what the problem is. They they released a few weeks ago a stat saying that um, in London alone, four t- potential terrorist attacks were thwarted because of increased policing activity and uh, training. So the police are being trained to deal with these quickly. So you're like, saying you're saying that ISIS is growing every single friggin' day. We're yeah. taking over yeah. this whole landscape and nobody's effing doing nothing to stop them. We're all not getting together to help each other to stop these people. And now your country may go to war. What the hell? We should be helping you. It, the, the thing is, is that I, ISIS have... Um, the scary thing is, is that ISIS is now operating on Facebook and they're actually contact. They're actually contacting vulnerable ch- children, trying to brainwash them into their religion. Oh Christ! And man. then the the children are going over to Syria. I mean, a few weeks ago, I heard that a family of twelve went over to Syria and they've never come back because they've probably joined ISIS to fight the Brits and to kill people. That's ridiculous. And to commit these heinous crimes that can never be never be justified. I mean, you can't justify a terrorist attack. I mean, um, I think the, the, even the uh, Tunisian government said so, that... So the Obama organization is just not doing nothing? They're just... I'm not, I'm not so well, I mean, I don't understand what's... It, the thing is, I never understood why people would allow a group to grow that big and not put a stop to it. I mean, I don't understand... I understand we got out of Iraq, we got out of Afghanistan, all this stuff. But if this stuff is going on, I mean, we have to wait till somebody's elected to take over as a president before something happens. It's going to be too late. Yeah. I mean, like, I've, I've, I mean, we have to be. I have to believe in my country is going to be doing something to put a stop to this because, like, I can't believe that my country would just allow this to happen without helping everybody. I mean, we always help everybody. We always donate. To anybody that needs it, we always like overextend ourselves to do whatever we can because we try to, you know, we're forced for good. As, as that's what I believe, you know. And it's like you know, we have a lot of Native and soldiers give their lives on the line each and every day for other different countries in name of you know United States of America. And I, I just can't believe that we wouldn't do something to help you guys or whatever. I'm, I'm sure there's got to... i got to look into it. I'm sure where, I'm not going to Where can I uh, put this article? I, uh, I just want people to read this. I was just talking about children being brainwashed. Right. Uh, a 22-minute video was released two days ago that showed a child of probably no more than 10 executing prisoners who were pleading for their lives in Iran, I believe. Iran? Uh, it doesn't say where it is, but it was, it was again, ISIS. Yeah, no older than 12. Um, killing at least two men without any apparent hesitation or protest. ISIS have got children, like, that are really, really vulnerable into their web of... Well, this is, this is what they did with Vietnam. Like, they, a problem that they had was, like, they had the kamikazes that would just mm. sacrifice themselves and die for what they believe in. And we didn't know, like, at that time, it was a foreign concept for us that, you know, somebody would sacrifice themselves and just, like, like no value for their life. And they used children, too. It was, like, a thing in Vietnam. We like, and then we didn't know how to handle that. Like, that was just really... You know? I, I actually recommend on that article that you don't scroll down <laughs> any more than halfway down the page. Yeah, I have to stop. I actually have to stop. Yeah. Um, there's there's some pretty sickening pictures there. Um, actually, yeah. It is. It's um. It it can't continue, and it won't continue. I mean, we've we've prided ourselves on uh, how tough a same as America, how tough yeah. of a nation we are. Like. 
And we're yeah. best friends with you guys. Well, so. yeah, we, yeah. I mean, um, I, I don't think there's any country relationship between uh, two countries that is any stronger than the UK and the US. That's, absolutely. Um, <laughs> and it's, you know, I, I think we're, we're kind of the same. We, we won't be broken. We won't right. give in to these things. And, you know, things will be done. I don't was was never a good option. It, it's uh, it's, it's not. Life, it's lives that are lost for, yeah. You know something that, but there's no. I just don't see any. There's no diplomatic. alternative right now. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no control. there's no political diplomatic way that you can sort this at the moment. You have to take cold blooded action. Right. I'm which sorry. Is important. I I apologize for the viewers and I yeah. apologize, Gloria. I know this is emotional. Uh, again, like there is no rules when it comes to the everything show, uh, but we will we will take this up in topic wonders. Me and Connor and and Mike D when he returns too. I'm uh, okay about it. It's just uh, I know, like, like why I I, te I text you about it because I was wondering if you heard about it and I was wanting to know a little more. You know, I, I felt I, it's hard because it's like again all day long I'm focused on two different things. You know. Yeah my medical the medical practice in the mall so it's like and there's a lot of drama and i, I have no time or, or way to view any news so when you're talking to me while i'm on the bus i'm like i never heard i mean i would have thought that it was some somebody would say something to me but then again so i'm like oh my god i don't even know what the hell's happened so when i got I, home i didn't have all the information i just had like some of it um and so i was like kind of confused myself and didn't know the whole thing. i mean like the, the situation in the uk at the minute is that um the government are ask are uh, i think staging a few votes where we um were asked yes or no to airstrikes in the middle east in places that are mostly populated by ISIS, um, that ISIS have, con have full control of now. And um, I, I think at the moment, the general consensus of the votes at the moment to back the airstrikes on uh, the Middle East is no, but gradually- could, I, could this become like a world war? Where everybody I wouldn't say a world war, but it, it, it'll be a war that like I think will develop into something where several countries have to uh, get involved because um, I think at, at, at the start it will be uh, Britain against ISIS. And this, then, could, this could happen. I know it's building up, but this could actually there can actually be a war in 2016. Well, I'm. I'm gonna say, like, I'm not. I'm not trying to sense. I'm not trying to sensationalize this. I'm not, you know, exaggerating. Right. It's actually. It's. Um, it's not. It's not tearing the country apart, but it's becoming increasingly worrying for us. And, um, like, I mean, we in my lifetime, Britain have had uh, the war on terror. You know, with America and with uh, yeah. Iraq and stuff. Sorry. They've never, in in my in my knowledge, they've never asked the public to say yes or no to an airstrike, ever. Um, they're they're taking the public's consideration into this because it is quite it is very serious. It, it's also going to be very expensive. Yes. Um, at the same time, you don't want to destroy your economy, too, but you have to protect your homeland. So yeah, exactly, and I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, you don't want to wait until they're at your freaking doorstep to cry out loud. Yeah, I mean, like, there's been what, how are you gonna bomb yourself? I mean, that's just like. I gotta... mean, in the in the last seven months alone, there's been three terrorist attacks in France. That's uh, ridiculous. They're they're getting they're getting closer, and yeah. um, it's only a matter of time, I think. Unfortunately. And I'm again, sure. like I, I stress, I'm not trying to sensationalize this. No, this I know. Thing. It's that it's, I honestly think that I don't think that uh, Obama would allow um, this to escalate without taking action uh, and, mm -hmm. and us joining forces. I mean, to stop this. I mean, I, I, I can't see, I know that this is politics, you know, and people are like, oh, you know, it's going to be an election year and all this stuff. They could, that's nonsense. I mean, whatever has to be, has to be. 
regardless of what's going on in the country, whether we're electing a new president or people are running or whatever. If if it needs if there needs to be something to to defend the majority of the people, we need to do that. So yeah, you know, I'm, I'm I, it's unfortunate, it's sad, but you know, I, it's gonna be it's gonna have to be. I mean, certain things are gonna have to happen, and I think in 2016 is gonna be a really crazy year. It's just nonsense. I mean, we may even have something in November uh, with this. You know, it might not even wait till next year. I mean, it, it may get so bad. I mean, the way you're talking, Connor, you're saying that maybe do you see them going to war this year? I don't, not not this year, but um, in the next four four years, maybe. If uh, that far down the road, it, if it if it continues, um, I'm just I'm just reading an article here actually from. Uh, Last yeah. year, the, the, either, it, either it would be November or it would be like next year, something's going to happen. And it, and it says that the US is actually reported to be preparing an up and direct dialogue with Iran on how to deal with ISIS. Things are being done, but um, unfortunately, ISIS is growing so big and it's acting way too fast. So the enemy of the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that what's happening now? <laughs> I'm not sure, but um, like, we. It's People just, we're not really getting along with, like Iran, we're going to like team up and hey, <laughs> but and, uh, kumbaya and stop these people. I mean, this is like, I mean, Iran, uh, I was in Akhamenejad, right? He ain't really on best of terms with us. We're not on best of terms with him. Mm. It's but, just like, I think um, we, we have to do things to stop it. Oh yeah. And, um, uh, I I don't think it's obviously terrorism will never be stopped. Um, wow. I don't I don't think I don't realistically we can never one hundred percent wipe it off the face of the earth. But wow. um, we we can. Uh, I, I have faith in America. I have faith in Britain. I have faith in the whole of Europe. Me too. Me too. To, um, to shut down ISIS. To I, I may not agree with certain things that happened in this country, but I stand by the president, no matter who he is, whether I voted for him or not. And, uh, you know, I stand by this country. And I and my dad was a veteran. He served in the Vietnam War, you know. And, you know, it's just he, he had an honorable service. And, uh, you know, he, he says, like, I, I serve so you won't have to. Like, that was his thing with... When he, when he was in the military, he's telling everybody, my son's not, he didn't want me serving or nothing. I mean, a lot of my ancestors have served in different things. So it's just, you know, it's upsetting that this, there has to be, it's always going to be a war somewhere. Yeah. It sucks, but, you know, we're, we're best of friends with you guys. So, you know, I really feel that we won't allow this evil to continue. So... I'm sure they will, we'll see stuff in the news happening. And I'm sure, unfortunately, I just worry about my kids too. I don't want to see some stuff like just, a draft and all this other nonsense. Just think about all the stuff that's happening, like um, like it's all like contraction pain. It's going to keep going and going until yeah. something is birthed. And my, heart's, my heart goes out to like all the soldiers that lost their lives for all these different wars, you know, Afghanistan and um, Iraq and you know many different things. So it sucks. We there's gonna be a lot more people dying to stop this. Fortunately. So all right. Uh, it's kind of hard to go into something else when it gets this deep, and I really can't change the mood to make it anything positive at this point. But I will say that uh, you know. I guess it's time we'll see what's going on in the news because I haven't really been seeing that stuff going on in the news and this is just frightening stuff. Thank you for the education, Connor, on some of the stuff too because I wasn't, I mean, I've seen, the, you know, I wasn't even really aware of the full extent of ISIS. So. Yeah, well, uh, you, you know, t terrorism is everywhere and I, I know that it's, uh, you, you never really hear about what's going on in other countries and it's, right. uh, 
you know, it can it gets clouded by because uh, there's so many terrorist attacks in one country anyway. I mean, your maybe even your country where you live. I mean, has so many in one day that there's never any time to uh, yeah. learn about what's going on in other. Countries. I really hope, my friend, that you guys are okay, and I hope you know yeah. that everything works out, and you know we can team up together and stop this because I really want, I really feel we need to step in. And, and help you and everybody work together to stop this it's freaking evil well yeah we we will stop it i am um, oh, uh, i'm sure 100 percent we'll stop it but, we'll stop isis anywhere i'm uh, sure yeah absolutely all right that's it take care bye for now <laughs>